Gorilla Tag is the highest rated Oculus game with over 110,000 ratings and home of some of its biggest creators. At the beginning, the game you all know and love originally looked nothing like what it is known as now. But to learn its full history, you're going to have to wait until the end. It all started January 25th, 2020, when someone named Kerastal Smith, now known as Lemming VR, posted the first footage of a new game. This showed robots with no legs jumping on a couple of platforms. A couple days later, February 4th, 2020, he showed an updated version of the game as it has gotten larger, with a new mechanic that you can do in the game. After posting a few Echo VR clips for a couple months, he finally gave another update on the game with the caption, Been working on something. Does anyone want to play tag? This shows him and a few other people in a larger scaled map with multiple obstacles. He finally has transitioned over the game to robots running around playing tag. Two months later, he posted an update of the game. In this post, it shows the same robot throwing fireballs? Who knows why Lemming did this, but this somewhat did bring snowballs and other mechanics into the game. Now, for me, it does get a little bit wonky. There's no exact date of when this was posted, but we can expect it to be around May or June. But Lemming posted a video to Reddit showing the forest map we all know and love today, but with no gorillas, as the game is still in early development. On January 9th, 2021, he finally got rid of the robots and made... The Gorilla. Four days later, he made a post to Twitter saying he's very close to releasing the game to SideQuest Steam. This is just the first time he reveals the name, Gorilla Tag. February 2nd, 2021, he releases the gameplay trailer for the game. Which now has over 6.9 million views. And with that, came the day Gorilla Tag released to the public. Thousands of players jumped on to see what this game was including J-Man Curly, who posted his first Gorilla Tag video on March 6, 2021. And when I say thousands of players, I mean thousands. Within its first month, Gorilla Tag gained over 125,000 players. February 27th came the first Caves map. On March 19th, there were some stairs leading up to the first cosmetics in the game. To get this, you actually had to buy the early access supporter pack that gave you a couple of hats and an early access badge. March 27th had the Gorilla Tag's first different game mode announced. Casual. A little bit after, on April 18th, they added a brand new map. Canyons. That has not changed since its release. On May 3rd, they added a few more regions to the game. AU was not included. Boo, Gorilla Tag. Boo, Gorilla Tag's bad, guys. Come on, it's so bad. May 24th, they added Lava Particles. Ooh. With a bunch of more small updates until Halloween. Ooh. The Halloween update gave us some special spooky cosmetics. And to some people, it gave them their iconic look. I'm not pointing out anyone, trust me. To people back then, this was the major update. But it is nothing compared to some of the updates coming later in the video. And now we go back to some smaller updates. Also, I'm going to speed through some of these updates. Unless it's special. Just because it's mostly the same thing. It's just updating the cosmetics or a new map gets released. So if I miss an update, that's why. But I'm going to try and cover the most important updates until present day. On October 14th, Lemming said, Let there be night. As night time was introduced. On November 2nd, all the Halloween cosmetics was gone. And instead it was replaced with... Nothing. But these trees look cool. Guys, I think Lemming is losing it. On December 7th, there was a Christmas update. It was filled with new cosmetics, holiday decoration, and the mother fudgety flippin' Christmas tree. I don't know why I said that, I'm sorry. And there was snow everywhere! Grill Tag players at the time said this was the best update that ever came out. But little did they know, there was a better one coming in the future. On December 15th, a hunt game was added. Not gonna lie, I still haven't played this game mode, so I, don't, I have no idea what it is. But well, it looks alright. Then... The world changed for a bit. The earth stopped spinning, and everyone collected together as a group. No one knew what to do, until they headed down to caves. Yay, happy birthday! A month later, a new map was released. Mountains. And it looks the exact same as it does now. Like, what the- And then the biggest thing that ever could have happened to Grillzag. On the 8th of April. I started playing. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't play much back in the day since I was too busy playing Echo VR, but this was the first day that I started playing Gorilla Tag. April 18th, rain. On July 19th, the first summer update came out, and it included some new cosmetics and 
that's it. But just wait until next summer's update. There was an update between the summer update and September 23rd, which brought us a new game mode, Paint Brawl. Wh which again, I still have never played. Now for one of the most popular updates of Grill Tag's history, 2022. Halloween. This added a new look to forest by adding a bunch of pumpkins, gravesites, cauldrons, and more, including Gorilla Tech's first ever ghost, Lucy. As I'm looking back at these updates, I can tell why this is some people's favorite update. There's so much to see and do, whilst nowadays there's just new cosmetics every two weeks. But anyways, on November 14th, there was the first ever flashback sale, which they brought back old cosmetics for the first time. <laughs> A new map was added on December 16th, Clouds, which ultimately became one of the most unplayed maps within a few days. But on December 23rd, the Christmas update came back. Everything that was in the game last year came back, even some new ones. Like you can pick up snowballs and its very own snow globe, which made you go small if you go into it, along with a bunch of cosmetics on the second floor. A really good update for the Gorilla Tech community. We made it to 2023! Yeah! And with the new year came Gorilla Tech's official release to the MetaQuest store. Here we find a most curious creature, moving on two paws, able to traverse great distances, to defy the laws of physics. Anyways, moving on. On January 28th, they got rid of the snow globe and added a maze instead, whilst adding a bunch of cosmetics. HAPPY BIRTHDAY! They added a basement update, which included a bunch of medieval cosmetics and a new map. This put the other maze to shame, as there were two different monsters in the maze that you tried to escape. Very fun. On April 22nd came one of the rarest badges in the game, Finger Painter, which only a selective few YouTubers got at the time. But now there's at least over a hundred people that have it. Make me next, make me next, make me next. Comment down below if you reckon I should get the finger painter badge, please, please. The very next update on May 6th came ropes and zip lines that you could grab that makes you go flying! But this was only exclusive to canyons until the very next update. Which was the summer splash update on May 27th, which added a bunch of cool cosmetics, but most importantly, secret tunnel as people were calling it, was opened. This tunnel led us to a Beach! It had zip lines, ropes, a boat, but it also allowed you to swim. This is one of the Gorilla Tag updates for sure. Also, case is blocked off. July 15th brought us water soccer, which no one but me liked. <laughs> Ooh. But on July 29th, caves was opened again with a massive crystal in the middle of it, colorful rocks that made noise. I'm a bat, which people called battery acid for some reason. <laughs> August 15th was when I uploaded my first Gorilla Tag video to YouTube. Yeah! August 26th brought us the back to school update, which also gave us some of the worst cosmetics in the game. So this volcano all of a sudden spawned in and completely flooded forest. 2023 Halloween update! This update added a bunch of new spooky cosmetics, lightning that scares the hell out of everyone. What the? A flying broom that you can hold on to! And they even added Lucy back into the game. No. <laughs> Anyways, who cares about that now? Moving past the Halloween update and now going to the 2023 Christmas update! This time around, there are a few new Christmas cosmetics. The snow globe was brought back. Doug had a hat! And they added these small trains where if you grab onto them, you become small. Not as good as last year's Christmas update, but not a bad one either. We are closing in on present day as we have made it. TO 2024! The first update of the year gave us... And the maze completely disappeared for this! A few days later, there was a hole in the floor that led to Shrek's Swamp. But this continuously kept changing once every couple of weeks until present day. In March, Lemming started selling Gorilla Tech's first ever plushies. Which if you bought one in real life, you got one in the game. The Spring Update. Ga gave us eggs. And also blocked off clouds, which sucks because it was my favorite map. Clouds was completely revamped. There was gliders that you're allowed to fly around the map. At the time, this was one of the best grill tag maps ever. But now still no one plays it. May 4th gave us the dungeon maze update. This update gave us, drum roll please. Cosmetics and brought back the old maze and basement on June 1st. They gave us the pride update 
which was very controversial to people. But the update itself is pretty cool. They added cosmetics. Boring. But most importantly, they added a water park and beach, mountains, and clouds. This allows people to have fun without needing to play the game. Honestly, one of the better updates in a while. And that's it. That is the full history of Grill Attack. I obviously couldn't have gotten every single update, but I got all the important ones. If you did enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. This took a lot of researching. I probably researched more on Grill Attack than I'm more supposed to do in school. No, that is 100% true. If you want to see a part two, get this video to 10,000 likes. That's a lie, by the way. I'm not expecting good. Get this video to 100 likes, and I'll do a part two. Anyways, bye-bye.